So the body of the base is now uh, basically pretty much finished. Um, so you'll see Jack spent quite a lot of time, or a lot of time, going over it and making it all perfect. Um, the next stage is going to be the neck going in. Um, so this is a really crucial and important part um, of the base build. So you can see uh, this has been shaped and um, that part's been done, but we haven't done this bit. It's because every base is slightly different and to get the perfect button, we like to make sure this is fitted in and then we'll finish this bit together with that at the same time so that it goes in uh, just right. Um, the next setting part is really, really important. So if this doesn't go in straight, even if it's like, you know, half a millimetre out, that by the time you get to here is quite a lot. And if you imagine that the, 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 the string pressure is going this way, as soon as you skew it like that, it's pushing in a slightly different direction. And what you end up with is the, the tension not going down evenly on the front, it's going in at an angle, which creates tension um, and messes everything up. So this is a really, really, really crucial part and something we take a long time to get perfect. So uh, Jack's gonna start chopping it in, get it where it's a few millimeters away uh, from being perfect. Then he's gonna start finishing this. Um, but also that's when the final checks of the body go on, bumpers go on the sides. Um, reason being is that if you finish it now, um, and obviously it's gone in the vise here, and it's obviously it's not gonna get damaged, but we want it to be absolutely perfect. So we kind of the, we kind of tie in, putting the neck in as the last bit and the final checks of the body um, at the same time to make sure that this really is as good as it can be. Um, so yeah, Jack's gonna start fitting it in. You'll see that he uses a, a neck uh, setter that we've made. We've got different ones for different sizes. So you've got uh, different measurements for full size three quarters or whatever. Um, and then we use these, this thing here to basically sight and locate the neck, uh, which will help. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll see again, quite a big overstand, which makes an already very playable base with a very playable shoulder, even more playable. So uh, yeah, Jack's gonna get busy fitting that in and uh, we'll see what happens next.